If you're a Dynamics 365 system administrator for a CRM system, we need to talk. Right now, you're in a weird place, right? Some things have to be managed at make.powerapps.com. That's where you're supposed to do everything. But we've got this weird hybrid life right now, don't we? Some tasks can't be accomplished at make.powerapps.com in the Maker Portal. For some things, you need to click that switch to classic option. So I thought we'd take a little bit of time here to talk about three big areas which are going to require a hybrid system administrator experience. So the ones I want to talk about today are relationships, the user interface controls or the UI controls, and model-driven apps. And this is kind of a little bit of a teaser for a Dynamics Com session that I have coming up on September 21st. So while we're just going to talk really briefly about these three items, we're going to talk about a lot more content. And that's going to be on September 21st at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time at DynamicsCon. So sign up for that free conference and check it out. But if you can't make that, here's some information for you. So switch to classic. Relationships, like I wrote here, as we all know, relationships can be complicated. And this is true for Dynamics 365. Now, I am happy to see some improvements in what you can do in a table relationship within Power Apps. It's really enhanced its capabilities in the last few months, which is awesome. But there are a few things that you'll need to use your classic solution designer. So I hope this chart is helpful. We can go through it quickly. If you need to add a new relationship, you can do that in the Maker Portal or in Classic Solution Designer. You can change certain aspects of your relationship behavior in both interfaces. But this third line here, this is going to point out where we kind of diverge a little bit. If you need to change the roll-up view and merge cascading relationship behavior, you'll need to toggle over to Classic. Also add mappings. Now this is one of my favorite things to do on a table relationship or on an entity relationship, and that's field level mapping. So adding some mappings requires the use of classic solution designer. And finally, change your lookup field requirements. So if you want that relationship field to be a required field and it's not today, you'll have to toggle over to classic solution designer. So that's three main things that you can do on relationships that require your classic solution designer if you're a Dynamics 365 online customer. Now we can move into UI controls. UI controls is huge. There's so much to be said here, but we're gonna keep the scope here just in what needs switch to classic. So like I said here, UI controls is an area that often leads me to click that switch to classic button. You can apply a UI control on a table or an entity, on a view or on a specific field on a specific form. Now, anything that you're looking to apply at the table or entity level or the view level must be done in your classic solution designer. And that's as of today, which is August 17th, 2021. Power Apps is changing regularly, so that will change in the future. I believe at some point you'll be able to do this in the Maker Portal, but not yet. And field level controls are limited. There's only a few available in the Power Apps portal, so you can get them all in the classic solution designer. Finally, model-driven apps. In June, there was a new model-driven app builder experience launched. If you haven't seen it yet, check out my YouTube video, which I'll link here, and you can get a walkthrough of what it looks like. It's slick, it's exciting, it's intuitive, it's easy to use, but it does have limitations. There are some things that will require you to switch to the classic designer. So those are adding more than one area to your app's navigation, specifying the app's URL, adding a custom icon, and charts, URLs, and business process flows aren't available from your list of components. Also, today, when I log into make.powerapps.com and I want to edit an existing app, it opens in the classic design experience. So that might be while it's in preview mode. Um, I'd imagine that's going to change as well to the new designer. So again, if you want to learn more, check out my session at DynamicsCon. We're going to talk a lot more about where you should be doing your configuration changes in the Maker Portal at Power Apps or in your Classic Solution Designer.